The Lord proclaims concerning the prophets, those who lead my people astray, those who chew with their teeth and then proclaim peace, but stir up war against the one who puts nothing in their mouths. Micah is a, a fascinating prophet, a fascinating book to read. Uh, it, it's not terribly long, it, it, it's readable. But one of the things that we find in Micah is some challenges to our lives. Some challenges to be countercultural, and maybe not in the ways that you think. Countercultural in the ways that might stand up to things that we've just accepted as, as norms in our world. And here, it's naming the one of violence, or more specifically, the violence that we've accepted, war, might, power. You see, he's calling people to task who, who claim that they are peace lovers. They are people who want world peace, but can't back it up. They don't work toward it. They just claim they want it. And when I say they, I need to be careful because sometimes it's me. Sometimes it's us. It's not always they. You see, the proclamation that that God offers through Micah for those who would proclaim peace after having chewed up those who, who have none, it's not a good response. It's not God saying, you made a whoopsie, let's fix it. It's God proclaiming that you have harmed creation. And, well, I'm paraphrasing. You see, Micah invites us to re-envision the way we, we live. To reimagine what it would be like to be more than peace lovers, but peace makers. To give it more than lip service, but to truly work toward it. And yes, what that means is that at some point we have to decide to put our guns down. There's no small print around that. Elsewhere, he reminds us that we're to, to turn our weapons of war into instruments of peace. It's time to put our weapons down. Amen.